Hey friends, welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel, Putting Up With The Pom Pons. We are a mother-daughter YouTube channel talking about everything hair care, hair routine, and hair maintenance. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I create this kinky curly bubble braid protective style that I wore for the past week. And we're gonna also have a little chit chat at the end of the video. Let's get into it. So of course, if you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. Come join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of my return subscribers, hey mama, hey Bessie, hey friend. Hope you are being safe and blessed as always. So here I am. I have these twists in my hair. This is a style that I love to throw in when I have no clue what to do with my hair. And I'll wear it for a couple of days before I finally decide to let take it out and do something with my hair. So I need to go in with a slip slick back ponytail. I'm going in with the Pretty Strands Leave-In Conditioner. Love this stuff. I've been using it for almost a year, if not more. And it's very lightweight and it comes in this huge bottle, which is what I love the most about it. So I know you see me putting these twists into this little ponytail right here. That's because I was too lazy to take those out. You're not going to see them once I cover them up anyways, right? So this is kind of lazy, but actually kind of smart because my hair is thick and it's kind of hard to achieve a slick back sometimes. So all I'm doing is taking out the twist section by section working in small sections is definitely going to be key i'm brushing it out using my tangle teaser gonna go ahead and spritz that down real quick again going in with the leave-in conditioner smoothing it down with a brush and then I'm gonna go in with some gel on top of that now y'all know I speak highly of the gel every video okay the shine effects by the magic collection it's a conditioning gel this one smells so good the hold is amazing and it just melts into the hair which is what I love I don't like gels that just sit on top of my hair and get all cakey right so I'm going in with a another hair have to secure that section down and then we're gonna move into the top section now be careful here making sure that you do not make your ponytail too tight I that is my toxic trait okay I don't know what it is if it ain't pulling my brains I don't like it I don't know why I do this to myself because three hours into this hairstyle I have a whole headache so be cautious of that I know I had to go back and redo my ponytail because I did that I did it I did it too tight I did every time every time so I'm adding in my gel as you can see here and I'm adding a lot to this top layer because I don't want no flyaways I want to make sure this ponytail is gonna last through this North Carolina humidity okay and it has been hot in North Carolina as soon as you walk out the summer is just taking the breath from your lungs you can't breathe it's like walking into a sauna it is the absolute most and i don't understand why i'm so ready for hurricane weather so we can get a little breeze coming through here because it's just stiff hot air right now all right so as you can see i'm over there tugging at that back piece that's because that kitchen was a little too tight back there and i was just like oh and that is where i'm the most tender at so i had to go back and redo it i did it off camera and then came back and finished up the rest of the ponytail so again, my toxic trait is putting in tight ponytails, tight braids. I don't know why. If I feel like my follicles ain't screaming for help, the style ain't done right. I don't know where I'm getting it from. I'm pretty sure it's rooted in me from getting my hair done as a child. Because my mom used to pull them braids something tight when I was little. I remember going to school crying, asking my teacher to please redo the ponytail because it was so damn tight. And now here I am as an adult still torturing myself. I know. Get a grip. Anyway, so I'm going in with some edge control right here to lay my little thin ass edges yes I have very thin edges by my ears as you can see it is very thin in that area so I do try to take care I'm going in with some got to be spray to make sure all this is going to stay in place and then I'm gonna tie my silk wrap right over it so we can get to this ponytail edition so that's gonna set, settle for probably about 10-15 minutes before we remove it so going in with the back since I am doing a bubble braid I decided to bubble braid my natural hair my hair's getting pretty long she coming with some length okay so I couldn't just put her in a bun I just felt like that would have just looked a little janky back there and then this is the hair that I'm going in with I purchased this hair off of Amazon y'all this hair is 18 inches long and it is the spring afro twist hair do not get confused with the marley hair the marley hair has more of a kinkier texture this one has this nice springy like soft 
curly texture to it so it's a little bit of a difference i know it can get confusing especially if you're shopping online for your hair make sure it says spring afro twist sometimes they'll even use both marley twist and spring afro twist to describe this hair but i'm going in with the four bundles total now this was my first time achieving this so i wasn't 100 percent sure how many bundles I needed to go in with or how many packs of hair I need to go in with. Um, but as I was putting it in and kind of like seeing how well it was gonna cover my bun, cause that's pretty much what I'm going by. How well is it gonna cover up my hair? The four was the, the best amount for me. And all I'm doing is tucking that end underneath my ponytail holder that is already in my head. So I'm just kind of like stretching out the ponytail holder a little bit more just to tuck that hair underneath it so it's not budging whatsoever. Now, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that I had that little small piece that's clipped up there on the top of my hair. That piece we're gonna use to wrap around the base of the ponytail once we're done. So now that I have all four bundles in and it looks like a lot of hair, but I also wanted the thickness of the bubble braid to match the thickness of my hair. So I'm going in now with my hair ties to create my little bubbles. And this part proved to be a little bit more tedious than I thought it was gonna be. The hair kept getting tangled up in my hair ties it was very frustrating okay I could I at first I started out using rubber bands the rubber bands definitely was a no-go so I went in with the hair ties the trick was that I should have rubber band the very end of the hair as you can see here and that way I'm not worried about all these loose ends trying to form their way into uh, one ponytail holder so once I got to the end the hair started getting a little bit thin thinned out so I could just go in with some regular rubber bands at this point and again Again, just try to make sure you keep your bubbles at the same size and fluff them out if you need to play around with it it's to your liking it's no big deal once you're done with all that I'm gonna go in with the remaining of that little piece of strip hair that we had left and I'm gonna wrap that around the base this is to make sure that all those bundles or that packs of hair that I stuffed underneath my ponytail holder won't be like poking out and showing wrap it around nice and tight and i pinned mine down with a bobby pin i feel like the got to be spray wouldn't have did anything for this type of hair texture and the pin did just fine i went in with maybe two or three um i'm making sure my ponytail is not showing so i'm using the mirror to make sure i can't see it and i would definitely see it because my hair is brown and that completes this look you can go in and add any kind of hair jewelry or go gold string to help decorate it. I kept mine pretty plain and simple. So let's get into this girl talk real quick. All right, so this is day two of me wearing the bubble braid and oh my God, it's just so simple to, to do. So after I did the first day of um, wearing my hair in a ponytail, I always get a headache because my hair is just not used to this kind of like tension. So when I came home after day one, I snatched that ponytail off so damn quick, y'all. Oh my God, I should have recorded how fast I snatched that thing off. And then put on a silk wrap in my bonnet and went to bed. And the next morning, I had to spray a little bit of got to be spray because I had a bunch of flyaways, of course. I really do like it. Um, It just gives me like Princess Jasmine vibes. So I'm about to take these rubber bands out just to kind of see what we working with. Um, Because I'm kind of curious if I can do like a full fledged like Afro ponytail this long. Still removing some. I got these nails on now because I was taking my pictures, of course. And I've been doing so good with creating content, y'all. I'm just so proud of myself. I just want to talk about that for a little bit because it is so hard to stay consistent, especially working a full-time job, you know, like, because content itself is a full-time job, okay? I'm always constantly thinking about what outfit to wear, where I could take pictures, what aesthetic I want to pull off, you know, so... It's just, you know, I'm, I'm just proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. And I've been getting a lot of people like reaching out asking me about how I started up and, you know, how the process is going for me. And I told them, like, it's not easy. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. I ain't gonna sell you on no lie, baby, because they sure enough sold me on one. When I first started out, I just felt like this was all gonna come so easily. And I'm not gonna, I cry. I still cry to this day when I feel like my shit ain't working out. But I've learned to just love my craft. Like I, I love what I do. 
I love getting dressed up. I love taking pictures. I love doing my makeup. I love doing my hair. I love presenting myself as this bad a bitch, okay? So, um, to me, you know, it's it's not a problem. Like this, if this isn't authentically who you are, just you know, because that that's what con your content should be. It should be a reflection of who you are, what you do on the day to day basis. And this is what I do on a day to day basis, baby. Okay, if I ain't working, I'm buying clothes and shoes and wearing them absolutely nowhere. And now I feel like I have an excuse to wear them. You know, like. Doing my hair. I always did my hair. I always made sure my hair was done. I always cared for my hair. And I loved helping other people care for their hair. Especially my natural baby girls. My natural ladies. Because it is a struggle being natural. We get sold on so many lies. And so many like upsells on bullshit that ain't even worth a damn. You know? So I love. I love. I love everything about what I do. And if doing your hair and doing your makeup and buying clothes and shoes is not authentically who you are when the cameras are not rolling find find your your niche here it is i want to fluff it out because it is a little tangled like kind of webby right especially right here Ooh. so i'm trying to see if i can kind of pull it apart not too much because i don't want it too fluffy anyway there's a lot of hair there's four packs of hair and i believe it's 18 inches long right here so but yeah just be be you when nobody is looking be that person record that individual I'm dreaming some bubble tea um because i haven't had any like a month and that's a disgrace 30s that's all i want to do is just be comfortable I, I i mean i'm still striving for for my goals of course still always have goals but I'm comfortable in, in what I do. Like, whether I post and only get two likes, baby, that's fine. Like, that's not my main goal, at least. I don't, that's my main interest in why I post my content is not to please other people. Of course, it is to be helpful and always inspire, but it's not to, I'm, I'm, I no longer wish to be a people pleaser. I am good. That shit is ghetto. Uh, whatever I do is because I love it. I thought I was fly that day and I'm gonna post it and share it. And even if you don't think I'm fly that day, I, I did. I walked out of the house like that. Very much proud. Took pictures. Okay? You know, I'm just trying to be more comfortable in who I am and not giving a damn about what other people think. And I feel like that's where everybody should just be able to, to reach that point in their lives where I'm comfortable. I, I post this for me. And I should do. I'll post a reel and watch it 10 damn times. Me. Them 10 views I get, they all from me. Okay? I love just seeing how comfortable and how much I've grown from where I started. And that is always an, my biggest thing. Did I grow? Did I see growth? Am I still growing? Am I reaching for my goals? Am I achieving those goals? You know what I'm saying? Like that, it's all about me. Don't get caught up in the hype, baby. Don't. Do it for you. Enjoy you. Enjoy your life. Don't like, because I... There was a point in time where I would post a fly ass outfit or a cute ass hairstyle and I would think, oh my God, everybody's going to love this. This is finally going to go viral for me. And when it didn't, I'll be like, oh my God, it must be ugly. I must just not be shit. Girl, bye. Don't, don't, don't reach. Don't ever, don't ever be that person. If you are that person as a content creator, if you catch yourself going down that road, pull yourself the fuck back up and realize, honey, it, number one, I do it for myself. Number 15 at the bottom of the list, I do it for everybody else. Okay, so that means there's 14 other reasons why we do this before you get the damn 15. And I promise you, I don't have to get past number one. I do it for myself. Okay, that's enough for me. Next. So, you know, just a little pep talk for y'all. I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys for joining us on another tutorial. We will see y'all on another one. Thank you for letting me rant. I just feel like I need to be talking sometimes. We'll see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.